Take two. Let's roll back. Take, take two. Huh. One. Hey, good morning and afternoon, evening, wherever you are. We are a worldwide broadcast, broadcasting right here from Glendale, California. It's Friday, September 2nd, Labor Day weekend. Friday here in the Southland, and it is hot out. It's not only hot out, it's hot in here. We got a scorcher for you, folks. We are, couldn't be more excited. Doug did not get a wink last night. Good morning, DJ Doug Pound. Hey. You are looking good. You're wearing your sweater because, or sweatshirt, because we're trying to keep it cool in here. That's right. But the heat's coming down hard and fast, so we got the air blown. And I'm right He's in the, like sitting uh, right, right across the, from the, right in the AC and Victor Burger the fourth. Hello, everybody. Is it, you know, Victor Bor yeah, Burger okay, coming from the long mind. lineage I'm of the uh, vacation uh, almost, Vicks. Almost the hey. Medici's, like the Medici family. It's pretty much the same. Thing. But you are here and more excited than I've ever seen you. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> psyched up. What can I say? Because we'll get right to it. We don't do a, we don't, we don't mess around. We don't tease. We got the D said Mary now. We got the we got the we got the D as we do now. We <laughs> Kyle Gas and Jack Black. Uh, need uh, we say more? Oh yeah. Y'all don't need wow. to say nothing. Y'all just sit down. Just sit down. Be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say I shit. I like that character. Yeah, because you all earned it. Mm. Mm. It's hard not to say nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, speak your mind, then. Yeah. Got to say something. I'm not ashamed okay, to admit warm it up, much. boys. Come in hot if you want. Fa la 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 as can be. But check, you, baby, check, baby. I one, think you two, three. Want to get in on that SM58. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight white. Yeah, kid, you got to get it right up on that mic. <laughs> oh, I want to. I want to eat it. There, oh, there it is. Okay. Suck See? it down. Suck Don't be shy. Down. Wow. Now Jack's been on the show Zoom style. I oh, zoomed. Yeah, I've never been best, live and in person. Not the best way to do it. No, because I feel like no one can hear me, and I can't hear you. The overlap is weird. Yeah, but you're here now, and I feel your energy. I feel your energy. I know you're. Quiet. Frustrated with the microphone situation. Oh no, I've transcended. Okay, good. You guys helped me out. Why Thank is you. It's so quiet. We in are here. caffeinated and ready to get into the show. Uh, let me just do a couple of quick. How do you get the bottles? One hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Or or. <laughs> uh, I want to thank New York for coming out to the Bell House last week. We had a terrific time. That was a great series of shows. Thank you. And this Friday, you guys are going to be gone. You're going to be on the road. Shame on you. Nice. We are doing the final show of the Big Tim, Two Tims tour at the El Rey. A few tickets left. El Rey's a great spot. What, oh, yeah. When? When well, is the El Rey show? Friday. Friday the 9th. Oh, shit. Right after oh, we leave. Told yeah. you. We We're waiting for you to clear out of town. <laughs> uh, and then if you are a high network subscriber to the On Cinema Universe, Deck of Cards is streaming right now. And I know you're a fan of that world. I am indeed. Where is the show on Friday again? Sorry. The El Rey. Oh, El Rey. Great classic great room. venue. Oh, yeah. Bad That's backstage. Right. It's tight back it's there. Back, it's very yeah, tight. It's tight. Not a good hang. Wasn't it a movie theater or something? It could have been. The <clears throat> they did vaudeville like back then and what? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, Matt, let's just make sure all systems are go. I bet there's. I bet there's just a long, long line of people that want to say hello. Do you want to just yeah. see if somebody wants to say hi? We'll uh, jump yeah, into it. Check, jump check. Party, it's party. Say. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Sam Jam, start us off with a little levity, would you? Sam Jam? Yeah. Hi. Whoa. Hi. I'm honored to be on here. Hello. I'm coming yeah, in. Yeah. I can hear you clear. Awesome. Hey. Wow. Wow. Super stoked to be here. Uh, so I have a little story to tell. If that's cool, just for a moment. So, Short story. Uh, it was just, where are you, where yeah. you going? <laughs> uh, I'm actually on my lunch break at work. I'm a third grade teacher. Aw. Oh. Nice. 
A third rate. Well, well, third rate teacher. Well, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> a third rate teacher. Oh, third rate. So hard on yourself. <laughs> You're on the Lord's <laughs> work. Well, last last weekend, a friend of ours threw a costume party. The theme was '90s theme, '90s rock theme. So, me and my wife went. My wife dressed up as Kim Gordon. I dressed up as Beck. And no one really recognized me. I was kind of bummed out. So, you, you look know, like Beck. Just, oh, thanks. Did you have the know. floppy uh, ear hat? That's my my favorite. Oh, uh, well, that's what I was missing. I just put on a wig, and you know, mm. it, it was weak. It was a little weak. Anyways, I was putting them back, and eventually I had to go on a beer run because of it. So I guess I was thirsting more. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Anyways, give him a little something. Oh, very good. Anyways, well, thanks for having me. I just want to give a quick shout out. Uh, my best friend since first grade designed the Tenacious D Tour shirts. No what? shit. Their name is, yeah, yeah, I'm in Cleveland, but he's out. He's in Atlanta now. Uh, Jason, look. Hold on, let me get that down. What? Where is he? Because <laughs> you said he, What's you the said name? he was in we Cleveland. we got to triangulate his location. You're right? in Cleveland, he's in Atlanta. How's that work? Right. Who? Yeah, we just grew up together. He's in Atlanta yeah. now, but... What's the uh, name? Uh, companies uh, look discount. Looks discount. Okay. Where are you going to go to lunch? Uh, this is my lunch. I'm doing a walk in. So you just walk. Yeah. You don't eat. Yeah. No, Meanwhile, those kids are sitting there being like, what the hell is going <laughs> yeah. on today? Yeah. <laughs> just fucking third grade teachers. No, no, I, no show again. <laughs> my wife's a teacher. I know how precious time is. So this is a big deal for him. It is a big well, for I, this teacher to call during his you know, few minutes of the day that he has to breathe. Oh, it's a lunch Thanks. break. Wow. I appreciate it. Well, I, I'm a big fan of all of you. Your show in Cleveland was amazing, life affirming. Totally show? Awesome. My show? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Just Played a couple Cleveland. weeks ago, it was amazing. Loved Thank it. Thank you. You know, I said to Vic after uh, the Cleveland show, or maybe before it, no offense to you in Cleveland. Hello, I no, said, Cleveland. I, no I, <laughs> I didn't say that. That's, that's a little. <laughs> what? A little corny. Why is it? Oh, come on. Wow. Well, no, I could have. As my Cleveland. It's a little more irony. elevated humor-wise. Yeah. But uh, I said, get ready to not remember this night. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and not That's because fair. of Cleveland. It was just in That's the tour. Fair. It was a blur. It was one of those like middle of the tour. Yeah. There, it's sad, right? You guys know. Yeah. It's you little... just it starts to meld together and not. There are a couple day. special ones that will always be remembered. But yeah, as a, for the most part. There is a blur that takes place. The irony is, a, it's I a remember that. Blur. <laughs> the irony is that made me remember it. <laughs> that is true irony. Uh, so, well, let's just. Well, get, well, I, what, that. I love all you guys. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Love you, bro. Say what's up to that T-shirt maker. Quality stuff, I have to say. Awesome. Let's uh, and discount. tell your kids who you were just talking to. That'll get. They'll get a rise out of that. <laughs> the yeah, I think they're to. big Vic fans. Oh, they talk, they're talking about this guy oh. over here, fucking Mr. Jumanji. Oh, well, Mr. Oh, school, yeah. well, if he's yeah. at school, school of rock, school more of rock. Yeah. But I'm talking third graders. My daughter's in fourth yeah. grade. She's like a, obsessed with third you. Third graders rock. Like, she gets and to the know panda. you. She's not. Yeah. Come to panda. Yeah. Stop including me. Uh, she was very impressed that you were coming over to. Oh, nice. Um, she th- I talked to my daughter last night about like what state we live in, what country we live in. These wow. f- elements. She? <laughs> she just turned nine. <laughs> I, oh, she didn't know shit. She was she probably. Yeah. She was kind of pretending, but. But states she couldn't do. She was saying, I was like, name 10 states. You were doing your own jaywalking. Yeah. (laughs) She's like, uh, okay, California, uh, Florida, New York, Japan. I'm like, wait. (laughs) But why did you ask? Student uh, uh, city council member? No. (laughs) Representative? (laughs) I was just like, we're playing. I was, and she loved this idea of trivia. She's like, let's play trivia. So it's trying to think of things that she might know, but. Surprise! I think dude, she's getting bad education. I didn't learn the states until like sixth grade. Give Maybe her a not, break, right. dude, because yeah. you don't learn that song till later. I got my belt out. California, <laughs> Colorado, Wisconsin, <laughs> Idaho, yeah. West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Rhode Island. That's, uh, that's a song. song that I that's know. a song you get all I, of them, dude. You don't know I Alabama, never got, never heard Alaska, this. Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. That's a I don't know that one Florida, alphabetical. Georgia. alphabetical on that. Wow, that's. I think mine's a little catchier. Just cooler. Yeah. What's that? The tune to? Bam, 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 da, da. Oh yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 da, da. What is that? Muppet Show. Bam, da, 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 da. It's the Muppet Show. The Muppet Show tonight. Yeah. 
That's how you do it. I've never heard you sing that before. You guys should add that to the set. <laughs> <laughs> should open and close with it. Do you know Al Franken's par parlor trick that he can do? Uh-uh. He, he does it like in a live show. I saw it when I was in high school. He can draw the United States state by state on, a, on like a big whiteboard. Wow. What, without it's even looking? Like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, cool, you can do that, but also, who cares? But how accurate is it? I mean... It's pretty close. Like, he it draws close? it with a piece of dog poo. That's the weird thing. <laughs> oh, no. It's dog, why do you it's go weird. blue, oh, or should wow. I say brown, Powerful. every chance you get? I'm trying to make that story better. It's, it's, uh, it's fine. It's not that <laughs> bad. It's not even a story. I know that. It's kind of savant -y, right? I think it yeah. required a lot of practice, or I was must, it one must. of those, like... He can just. I can just do it. He his gag is he has an audience member draw a state and then he fills the rest out. Whoa! And I was the one that drew the first state and I drew Pennsylvania and I drew it fucked up. It was not. It was bad. I got Did it blow burned. the bit? Was he not able to continue the show? As I do now, I I gave you know he gave me a little bit of a hard time you know as I would to an audience member. What's the most boring up. forgotten state you think? Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna guess it's gotta be Delaware. Yeah, Delaware. Rhode Island? Delaware, yeah. Be careful, Cage. We may be playing some of those places. Can we talk the about the place. tour? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can we? You've already been out on a run, right? We did, yeah. We did our with first puddles? leg. Yes, with puddles. It how, was great. How was he received? He was received very well. And, uh, too and well. Uh, we loved him, too. He's really good. The only problem was that he played, he featured a... Uh, Pinball Wizard. It's by, a pinball by wizard. The who. And he did it several ways. He did it who he 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 sang the lyrics to Pinball Wizard to a different song and oh, then he sang uh, different lyrics yeah. to the Pinball Wizard song yeah. and then he finished his set with Pinball Wizard. Up. And in the meantime, our new single that just dropped before the tour was Pinball Wizard. <laughs> we didn't tell him, can you stop with your Pinball yeah, Wizard stuff? Because we couldn't tell him because it was clearly... It, it was, was intentional. He had been working on the... Yeah, it was right. not intentionally <laughs> sabotaging us. <laughs> but whatever the case was, it kind of took the wind out of our pinball... So I don't know, Doug, if you're planning on bringing some yeah. pinball wizardry. Ding, 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 ding. It's the weird thing is I do... I don't really sing, but I'm, I am singing Pinball Wizard. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Tour. Wait, do that's you, our opener. Over did there. you have you have it in the set then? No, you can't do it in the set then. Ping, pinball wizard. Yes, yeah. we continued to. Well, we had oh. to because we're you know. But it's just, is it just a, it's a cover of pinball wizard? It's a cover, but still we've got you, you D it We've up. already bought the vinyl and we're selling them for charity. So it's like we got to do we got to push our single. But ring, at, ding, at ding, a certain ding, point ding, we ding, did ding. stop playing yeah. pinball wizard. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Do you, you have a actually, conversation with him about it? Or no, never, I didn't. No? Because you know what? The thing is, he was also killing and slaying, oh, and yeah. the crowds were loving him, and he was connecting with them on some weird, clowny, emotional level, and he, he's, uh, he's a magical performer. It is a dicey thing to open up for you, as we yes, know. Yes, dicey. We, the the le legendary right. Neil Hamburger run. Wow. Yes. Oh. He was, was brutalized. But I have a theory that people loved to hate him, That's, and that was the. They magic. thought they were playing. They thought they were in the it's act. Like Howard Cosell. Yes. Yeah, they loved to hate him, and he would torture the audience. And you, th you'd think he was actually enjoying that sadomasochistic relationship he had with the crowd, but uh, I don't know. I think he came away a little scarred. Like well, I, I think he was the the physically here, scarred maybe at bitch. one point in England. Right? In and England, they would throw like. You know, coins at him. Yes, they threw pound yeah. coins yeah, at yeah, him, and, and uh, they're big, thick, heavy ones. And uh, broke a glass. He was holding a, a glass of uh, fake liquor, and, and uh, I think his wife turned around and and punched the guy Holy who, who oh. threw the coin. Oh, no. Yeah, right in the, right oh, in the, no. the kisser. Yeah, and That's it was a, a volatile situation. And I think it was be it was when he started talking about Princess Di. You're not oh. gonna talk. No, that's my Scottish <laughs> guy. No, that's good. <laughs> Whatever it was. They don't care. Yeah, speak about it that yeah. way. <laughs> Eat me a fucking name out of um, your mouth. But, uh. You was, fucking asshole, cunt. It was always incredible. And yeah, yeah. it's. It I saw one of the. I think I saw it at the Gibson Auditorium here. Yeah. At, where it is no more, I think. But. Mel no, Gibson that, Auditorium. He would say, like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tenacious D's. Curtains, you know, he would tease yes. them. Yeah. So of course he had it coming to him. Yeah, I just pray for the health and safety of my friend Doug. That's all I, because Doug uh, is opening. I know. Yeah. 
Well, the reason we picked Doug is because we love Doug. And yeah. uh, we've actually had Doug as part of our universe before. You performed mm -hmm. at Festival Supreme. Yeah, yeah, a couple times. Our comedy music festival. Oh, that was More fun. Than <laughs> and it seemed like a no-brainer. We wanted to ask Doug. We didn't even know if we could get him. And he said yes, and we were stoked. And yeah, is there an element of danger? No, you're not going to be physically in danger. But yeah, we'll, is it possible that our crowd will turn on you? That's always a possibility. <laughs> What I recommend is that you have some uh, deep cut tenacious D jams in your Whoa, in your laptop it. ready to go loaded. rip to rip cord just play like wow. you know a song that we one. that we don't play if you please a <laughs> deep cut list. not that was one of like the greatest that's Cartman, a good idea there's just a DJ there at the beginning who's just playing Beatles songs well, yes. that's what everyone wants what's his name Chris uh, Chris, Chris Holmes Chris Holmes yeah. um, I was at, I played at the Tenacious D, uh, the uh, yes. Festival Supreme twice yes. as well. Fantastic. First was I'll I'll be completely honest with okay, you. Okay, be honest. The Santa Monica it's, one. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could bullshit you. I'm a yeah, Hollywood guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I got where I am. I <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Fucking that was a hard show for was me. Was that for, rough for me? Wow. Really? Just for me. We did this first of all. Again, the curse of of being like the band before the headliner. Yeah. Is and it was a long day, and we were doing our Puss Whip Bang Gang rock mm, band that, yeah. you know, all due respect, well, this is respectful. It's not the same as you guys. It's not as good as what you guys do. Uh, in some ways, it's much better. It's dumb, and, and we're not that good. <laughs> or we weren't that good. The band wasn't that good. We didn't rehearse enough. And I get up there, and it's one of those things we're waiting all day. Right. Just pacing around. Oh, man. And then the weather kind of was kind of shitty. Like yeah. it was kind of cold. And my, I couldn't hear myself. I couldn't hear, my guitar uh, was out of tune. Yeah. Uh, and I could feel the audience just being like. You felt they were turning on you? I felt yeah. they were just ready for the main attraction. I think oh, right. Adam Sandler yes. went on long. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And we had technical diff. Tons yes. of it. Tons of it. <laughs> yeah. Triumph. That, no. That. Adam Sandler went yeah. on, and then and for some reason, leave. and they put the his sound and video on the other tent that was featuring Mr. Show. Yeah, Ruined yeah. Oh, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Show's set. <laughs> and I oh, felt dude. so horrible, yeah. and I was running around backstage uh, like... Oh, my God. Like yeah. the, the guy who managed... Uh, 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 Woodstock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Michael Crying. Yeah. You're destroying my vision. <laughs> You've disrespected the gods. Yeah. You're here because of them in a way, in some ways. But uh, my experience of your set was much different. I, I thought you were hilarious. Well, I and just remember. It didn't seem like you gave a shit. And that was part of the that's, magic. That's the craft. Yes. Of, of, of <laughs> loud rock and roll. But I remember coming off that stage, and it, it really has never happened. It hasn't happened. Ever, but I was just, pit. I was like, fuck, oh, man. No. That, that really hurt. Really, yeah. and it damaged me for, and it, forever. Wow. So it lasted. No. It, it no. stuck with you for days. No, you traumatizing. Grow, and then people came, are. like, almost immediately, I think. You came, you guys yes. came up, and people were like, that was great. It was funny. Oh, yeah. But <clears throat> it was, it was, it's a very scarring memory that I'm not really sure I want to talk about ever wow. again. But well, I'm we glad just I went out of that length. I mean, I, look. Get some, where's the emotional music? I, I mean, I'm working going, here. I'm trying to. Oh, you it was are. There. It was there. You and gotta understand, I, Tim. You've got a magic in you, and just the fact that oh my God, there's Tim Heidecker up there on stage, sharing his heart, sharing his art. I get that now. There's a beauty it to then. it that has nothing to do with, you know, perfection, yeah. uh, in tune. Uh, There's just a human being naked and I unafraid to share this moment of life. I hear that. Let's play a game! <laughs> <laughs> Great segue. Uh, wait, we have a City of the Day sponsor. What? The City of the Day. Listen, activity of the day. Oh. We're changing it up a little bit. Yeah, Vic insists. Not he, much more to say. I've been trying to kill this for months. Activity of the day. We usually have a city of the day. Vic wants I'm to do an activity of the day. So how does that work, Vic? We pick somebody. So, what is their activity? Yeah, basically. Well, I was just going to give the first example of something you can do that I recently did. I reorganized my clothing dresser, oh. uh, and I. Used to have my socks on the top, and now I moved them to the the yeah, lower, 
and it makes more sense. The lowest, yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. where you just put your feet in the drawer. Yeah, because like done. it's less bending over. Because like so there are times, how many times you're changing your socks during the day? Do you know what I mean? You only bend, have to bend over once. So how many times are you changing your underwear? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk Twice. about that. It's, you do a change. It's been day? a big change. It's been a big. You don't change, want to talk about it. If I swim, I will not go back to the undies I was wearing before. Right. right. I did. I, I hate to keep talking about this because no, it's okay. terribly boring. But <laughs> I did a rearrange where I've uh, they're stacked up like this. Uh-huh. Un, uh, underwear was here, socks were top. No. Yeah. And then what I realized was my underwear is always the same, so I don't need to look. Uh, you're yeah, right. Right. Uh, socks. I need to mm-hmm. maybe take a peek before I grab. I stuck undies too because like you don't have to whatever. All right. Thank you. Anyway. And, right, and so you know the irony this, is you are. I'm looking down at you. Got no socks no today. No socks. I know. I, I wear, don't wear socks I in the right summer. The socks. Really? I have for for tour. For I do wear socks Jack. for the stage, but I would just have one pair in my little dressing bag. No socks would. No get. stinky feet shoes. I always get the smelly. Oh, with your oh, with I no see. No socks. It's absorbing. You want to take, the, you uh, take uh, a whip? <laughs> yeah, let me. Let me see. Where we go? Oh boy, here they're, we they're go. They're not bad. I think you'd be happy. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay. Oh my God! Those are pure as the driven snow. <laughs> well, you wanted a you wanted a picture. Oh. <laughs> we're now a fetish show. Ooh, wow. This is gonna we're gonna get yeah. banned from YouTube yeah. now. Is that it? Sick. Standards of practice. You don't want to sniff, right? You're good. You trust your partner. I, I trust Cage. He's yeah. got a, he's got yeah. a very yeah. delicate nose. Mine Are you wearing Merrells? I'm wearing some Merrells just for comfort. And uh, yeah, the slip-ons. With my socks. There's, there's, I mean, I don't want to say anything, but I will. But the, the flip flops and socks do stress the, me out. Yeah. Oh, oh it really? Doesn't that hurt stress. in between your big toe and the. No, I actually prefer it. I prefer do you have it. to break those in a little bit? Uh, no, yeah. It I keeps mean, them tighter on there, say, probably. You yeah, feel like it you does. Want, it adds to the. Yeah, if you're going uh, to Ferris wheel or something. I should get a shot of your feet full out. There. I'm thinking oh, of some. We've got it on Vixen. City of the Day products right now, Tim. Shoes really. I'm thinking of some City of the Day products with all the sock talk. Okay. Good. Yeah, this was the rail. Lace up socks. Well, now School of socks. Sponsor. <laughs> All right. So let me. Uh, we do have a sponsor. We and we didn't to talk to uh, any of our uh, friends online now. But go ahead. Sorry. We're gonna bring somebody in for the game uh, in a sec. And but can I? I'll just do this quick sponsor. And let me know if you do the activity of the day. Send me some pictures of your. Are we cut in on this? Do we, do we get some of this? Nick Knock is our sponsor today. Nick Knock. Nick Knock is a new app for sharing your life and creativity with Nick Cage only. Not a real product. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nick knockers all over the globe as they do. What? Join Nick knockers all over the globe as they do comedy skits, viral dances, challenges, lip sync videos, or just share their daily thoughts with national treasure. Nice actor Nick Cage. <laughs> Nick will like every post and even leave you a comment on your birthday. No need to worry about privacy, as literally only Nick Cage can. We'll see what you post. All right. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't written. By you. It was not. No, I'm and seeing it, it for the first like, time. <laughs> yeah. And that was a cold read. Yes, yeah, cold like, read. Well you say that. Man, okay. using Nick Knock is fun and easy. Nick, see what they're trying to do is fuck me up, right? Uh, Nick's Knock to Nick Knock is not. Nah. Let's roll back. Take two. Nick's Knock to Nick Knock is to not knock Nick. Trick Nick, <laughs> pick on Nick, nitpick Nick, Nick Nick's picks. Or knock knock, you're nicked. Users will be caged for a week or even permanently if they violate Nick Knock's strict terms of service. Hurry, download the app before it's gone in 60 seconds and claim 11 free Nick Mojis in the nick of time to make your Nick Knock's rock and knock Nick's socks off. Man. Nick Knock, just for Nick Cage, Nick Knock. Just for Nick Cage. <laughs> okay, Matt, we have an activity of the day. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Who's, we, do we want to let a... A zoomer? Yeah, and then we'll transition to the game. So many. All right. Can we do them all Ash- at once? Where'd she go? Ash Ashleeny? Is that your name? Ashleeny? That's not a real name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Can you unmute Ashleeny? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Where'd she go? <laughs> you know who I bet has a uh, an I activity? Can't hear you. Our old pal Duck. Oh, you'll appreciate this. Duck. Duck, Duck what are you up to? Oh. oh. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Uh hey Jack. Hey, How's Doug. Good. I got a question. Huh. If you had to play an instrument only using another instrument, hmm. which instruments would you use? 
Well, the easy one would be a drum because you can literally bang anything against it. So I guess I'm going to go oh. with, I'm going to hold a flute and hit a drum. <laughs> yep. That was quick. So wow. You're, you're yeah. thought, so have you yourself. thought about this before? It's <laughs> kind of like my shoes. I just want the easiest thing. <laughs> You've thought about that. I can tell you're a problem solver. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm impressed you with make your music. instant animation that that works. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. Duck, what's the activity of the day for you? What are you planning? What, you got an activity plan for the day? Uh, we can walk around the map. Of, I drew this one just now. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's better than Al Franken. Um, yeah. And uh, Senator I guess Rhode Island needs a little extra love. Here, I got to get smaller for it. Here, there we go. <laughs> oh, you can control your own yeah. density and size. I wish I could. Mm. Yeah, can't you? So, okay, um, there you go. You got I your map. Yeah. Is, that's your activity, uh, drawing the map like Al Franken? Well, no, it's uh, where should I poop? Oh. Where should I poop? Oh, man. I'd go like lakeside somewhere. <laughs> seems man, to be a popular like a... choice. Well, I don't know. I think uh, Texas is... someplace with a lot of, a lot of uh, desert, like a, you know, yeah. ki uh, like a kitty litter uh, state. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, Nevada's got a lot of empty, uh, Ooh, empty call. dirt to, yeah, to poop on. Duck, duck, do you ever call your own dirt, your own shit, uh, scat? That's more of it. That's like an uh, animal. No, interesting. Because that's what we would dribble. call it as we're hunting you. Settle, Settle down. down. Oh my gosh. Get it? What? Down. 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 Hey, uh, have you ever been hunted? <laughs> Shot out of the sky. Oh, um, so. Uh, I've got this bright jacket I wear during hunting season that that keeps people off me. Mm. Uh, you know, they're like that thing's too colorful to shoot. Where do you fly? Uh, where do you fly for the south? Uh, where do you fly for the south? Where do you fly <laughs> well, for the winter? I'm going to Nevada in a second to, oh, to take know, a dump. Just kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dump on screen. I'm not gonna uh, ruin yourself. things with that. But, Thank um, you, man. Anyways, um, I didn't. I didn't really actually have an activity except for. Um, I know it's a it's a bum question, segment. Really. It's a well, bad segment. No one had a. Now they know. <laughs> well, because he's yeah. in the character of the cartoon. Why don't you get yeah. a real person and see what they're doing? All right, right, well, let's right. move on then. Somebody's Thank got you, something to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just died. Oh, wow. He's a oh, dead no. duck. That one. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> he's dead. All right, we we want somebody that has an activity that they're doing today and wants to play a very exciting Whoa. new game uh, where you'll be playing against. Jack Black and Kyle Gass. David Bowie. All right, let's, you know, I was thinking it would be nice to have a couple so it's fair oh, and that square. Is, Matt, you're a, one of the great producers. There you're like George go. Martin. Tandy and Dan, what do you think? Are you, are you ready to play a game against, and tell us what you're doing? Hello. Hey, yeah, we'd love to. Beautiful. I like your Dude looks like Warren. Can you squeeze in together? Right. Get nice and close, right in the oh, middle. There you go. There Perfect. Go. A happy couple. Yeah. yeah. Have you done oh, it this oh. morning yet? <laughs> it's evening. It's here. evening here. Oh, oh. <clears throat> that's so weird. I didn't know they were British. Yeah, that's an world. incredible <laughs> international moment. That's a nice big house for someone in England, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we've taken up most of England. But, yeah. Sorry, that's not very nice of us. But where are you in the in the great country? Uh, don't give him our location. Don't, don't. <laughs> what? We, uh, can we say we're down south? We're down south. Down south. We live. We live Fuck very close flight. to um, uh, the chap from the Who. Yes. We do. You were talking about <laughs> down under. Are you close to Bristol? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. Come on, man. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Fucking hell! How are we gonna be down in, in Bristol? Fucking hell! <laughs> Brighton. Maybe they're near Brighton. Brighton. Nice. Nice. Yes. We played Near Brighton one time. Remember when we played Brighton? Yeah. Brighton Beach Rock. Yeah. I went to Brighton Why? when I was in, I went on a family trip there and when I was like 11. We would uh -huh. do like a little day trip down there from uh -huh. London. Yeah. And we went to a place and got a hamburger. Oh. Uh, okay. Right? This hamburger. And my sister says, can I get it with cheese? And they'll go, like, huh? fucking hell, what are you saying? No. <laughs> 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 <Really? So you laughs> hamburger came guy? out. Cool it job. was like out of a Monty Python. It was a spam burger. It's oh. got so much stuff in there. They yeah. put a lot of nooks and crannies. You know what's good though in Brighton? There's a song by Queen called Brighton Beach Rock. Am I right? I don't know. Right, guys? I believe you. <laughs> yes, 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 One of the great, great songs ever written about a place. I recommend it. What record it. is it on? Do you know? Is no, I early? do not know, but it goes on to the show and no. it sounds like fucking this and I do not know the name. Yeah! Nice. 
No. All right. Well, we'll look it up. Sheer Matt. heart attack. Sheer heart. Well, that's good. That's early Queen. Yeah. That's when they're really ripping. None of that. Uh, what's the face? The music. Oh, I like later stuff too. It's all good. I'm Is not gonna. I'm not gonna writing? rag on any of the Queen catalog, but I do secretly agree with you that yeah. the early <laughs> stuff was yeah. when they really ripped. Listen to this one. This is 1982. This is Queen. Don't get us ding. Oh, We're I gonna get I taken won't. off. YouTube. I did it last week. <laughs> Talk about a band. I think there are two bands as a four-piece live that could do no wrong. Zep, LZ, and Queen. Yeah. You look at those like big Wembley concerts where it's Yum. just the four of them. Yeah. And it's the biggest sound ever. Wait, who is the other one? Zep, Queen, and who? Just that's the two. Oh, I just had. the two. Yeah. Yeah. They're I the top the, two. What about who? See, I think they I, had. I, a, I, I think they'd have an auxiliary keyboard that. sometimes. Sometimes. So, yeah. Queen. Yeah. You think they had some? They had some. They, they, they were had not some always sneakies, Yeah. They had some in the sneakies. wings. Someone in the wings. In the wings? Yeah. Really? But, but, yeah, but like Freddie would go over That's there and true. play. Oh, sure. He would. But, you know. But with the who, who was like. Oh, the <laughs> <rabbit>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best. That is and, the and best. Keith had to wear these big headphones because so he could hear it. Oh. You know, you'd, you'd see him with these big cans yeah. on. Yeah, you would. Taped around his head. Which I was, I was funny you saying that. I was looking at this. Uh, watching this YouTube of them 1972 or three in Philly doing Quadrophenia for the first time. Ugh. And they, um, they had all that backing track stuff, which uh, I, yeah. no, no. It, yes, yes. Yeah. It's no. <laughs> yes, yes, it's no. <laughs> it's, I just can't imagine the tech going on with them like, because it's just like a reel to reel, you know, like the the, the, oh, right. the sound effects and the synths and stuff for like yeah. all the ocean stuff and everything. Nope. Somebody's like working that. That person li- should be on stage. Whoever's turning those yes. knobs is a <laughs> real Brian maestro. Brian Eno out there. Like get Brian Eno out there with all sorts of tape machines. They don't get enough credit. No. What about our guests, Tim? Are well, I'm a the- little worried. This happens all the time, this- Kyle. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a little worried because <laughs> the game. I hope it plays with the Brits. I just hope you guys are. You don't heated. think you're gonna go overseas? Culture, but I don't want. Do you guys want to play the game? I should ask. You don't know what yeah. the game is. It's strip poker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got, and the deck, deck has been uh, meddled with. She's leaving. No. That, that was that was rude and disrespectful. I'm gonna re, re, reset. The game is. Name that D! Yeah. Well, you'll see how it goes. It's oh a lot of fun. Oh. Uh, I want to give a sample question here. Like, yeah. can, can, you, can you guys see my screen, Matt? This was my big concern. Oh, we need to see it? We need to be oh, able no, to no, no, like it. Oh, there's there's answers can't. galore. No, right. Kyle, neither of us can see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll give you, Matt, what's a good uh, example that I could. Like, I that think that first one's pretty easy. You could kind of just. Start. It is. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I'll good? say this. I'll, this will be an easy one. This twist. This is just a sample, but the, whoever answers first, you guys or them, gets the point. Oh, okay. it's a team sport. Just shout it out. Team sport. Team just sport. shout it out. All right. Uh, this twisted vocalist made a cameo in Pee Wee's Big Adventure during the backlot chase. D Snyder. D Snyder. Very, very good. Point D. Oh, wow. right. Did you guys? Hear all that? Do you understand? Well, they're also oh, across yeah, seas, yeah, yeah. so they might have a delay. Okay. Oh, that's true. All right, we won't. We'll uh, give them like a delay. three second. Yeah, you'll be an honor. <laughs> give them a little. All right, handicap are, you, are you ready second. to play? Name that D. The night na- this mm, take two. The 1990 hit "Groove" is in the heart. Is by this house and dance club. Delight. Cl- Delight. I knew it too, by the way. I was waiting for this, the answer. You, we don't have to wait, though. No, just shout it out. off the clue. When you, yeah, when you get the, yeah, when first, you know it, just we're, shout we're it. We're crushing him. Now, I just want to check well, in with you guys again, because you look f- completely befuddled. <laughs> can I, I hear us? Can you hear us? <laughs> we could make a rule where you have to at least <laughs> raise your hand to the full question. But do you guys, did that Did that song play in England? Groove is in the heart. Yeah, they know. Are you kidding me? That's what they had their wedding dance to. What's the singer's right, name? Uh, Lady, Lady G- um, wait, what's her name? Lady Miss Keir. I was close. I was, I was on my way. All right, here. you'll know this one. <laughs> this. <laughs> it's a bad game show host thing to say. <laughs> you'll know this one. 
<laughs> what a great game. This English blue-eyed soulstress scored a big heartbreaking hit in 1976 when she released a duet, which was originally written under the pen name Ann Orson and Carte Blanche, better known as Bernie Taupin and Elton John. Oh, Kinky D. They got oh, one! Yeah. Uh-oh. Now I... Uh-oh. I wow. did know that one. And you did? Was going to shout it out. Why didn't you? Oh. Because I thought we were trying to give him a fight and shit. <laughs> no! No! Win. win! You're here to win, man. Remember the video? Hey. Yes. Oh, in the studio. A, yeah. Mm. With her uh, cute. overalls. So yeah. Cute. So cute. Um, this is a $500,000 prize, though, for who gets the most points. What? $500,000. Oh, it's my life-changing God. life-changing money yeah. for me. It is uh, to be used with the knick-knack, uh, knick-knack uh, <laughs> software, though. That, that was whoever did the knick That'll buy a lot of fish and chips. <laughs> All right, ready? If you own an electric guitar, it's entirely possible you have strung this brand of strings onto your six-string act. Diodario. Boom! Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is revenge for that revolutionary yeah, war. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> King George and his bullshit. Quality strings, by the way. Great strings. Uh-huh. More of a Dean Markley guy, but all the respect. Oh, wow. You don't, would, would what about work? Ernie Ball? Ernie Ball's no more of a rock and roll thing. I'm more of a folk guy. The, uh, this is a little bonus point. The Diodario String Company was started by two brothers with the last name Diodario. What letter did both of their first names start with? E. He said... <laughs> He said D. Uh, what do we say, Cage? Uh, I'm going to say J. It's correct. What? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Cage, how did you know? Why would, that J- Why would there be a J in a question on a D quiz? Because <laughs> Vic put that What are the odds? In. We're literally one out of 25 for those odds. No. All right. <laughs> Here's another bonus point in the Diodario world. Michael and Brian, a different Wait. set of Diodario brothers, form this sour rock and roll band. Mm, not as popular as oh. I thought. The answer we're looking for is the DeLeo brothers. You got something out there, England? It's a sour. Sour. sour the, what's it's sour? What? The lemon sour? twigs. Oh. Great man, you'd love the lemon twigs. Do you know them? Don't know the You'll, lemon twigs. Oh yeah, you would love, love them. them. I know the lemon heads, of Ooh, course. No. Lemon heads, Evan of course. Dando. Mm-hmm. Uh, more like Evan Dandruff. You see that guy's hair? <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Very unkept. Yeah. Wow, well, that's that's not nice. That's very indie, though. That's yeah. indie. Yeah, I, I know, but he's got dandruff. He's got a great head on his shoulders, though. <laughs> Next question. I don't know more about Evan Dando and what he's doing every day. He speaking Heroin. of Vic, he, he did a good album with Vic. <laughs> Is he still on the Big H? He's riding the white pony. He's a lifer. He's like that uh, uh, author. Yeah, yeah. Burlington. <laughs> 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 What's the guy? Well, Burroughs. Burroughs. Got the letter right. Bur- Burling. Burling. <laughs> the code guy. <laughs> All right. What is the name for someone who is a minion of the devil who tempts humans with immortal thoughts and actions? Disciple. A devil. Now what we're looking for. Demon. Yes. Ah. Oh. You poor people. I'm starting to feel that. Like wasn't that. really fair. I did two guesses. Are you? Yeah, li- yeah. If you guess, yeah, you got it wrong. Okay. Yeah, I got it. You got it wrong. Wrong. <laughs> What's just? Do they get the point then, or just nobody gets a point? Yeah, give them the point. Give them the point. Yeah. Somebody point guesses. Goes, point goes to England. Thank you. I your your score is looking like a soccer score, though. These people, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, they're used to those low scores. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are we three to two now? All right. Now it's going to get a little tricky. Oh. Danielle Spencer played this beloved TV character, famous for her catchphrase, "Ooh, I'm telling Mama on what's happening." Dwayne. <laughs> oh, right. Um, uh, uh, what's it? Darcy. Nope. Remember what the name of the game is. Name uh, that D. Diana. Just simply right. say the... This is the name. Nobody, D. nobody gets D. it. D. 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 Yeah. We helped out the You didn't watch What's Happening? No. Rerun. You didn't watch What's Happening? Rerun, Shirley. Dude, you did watch the episode where the Doobies. The Doobie Brothers and then and then Rerun had the, the tape recorder and he was secretly but I told you about it. We talked about this for sure. Where he went in and he had a tape recorder strapped to his under his shirt and he was recording the Doobie Brothers concert oh, yeah. and then and then he was dancing he couldn't help it because he loved the, the, the Doobie Come Brothers on. so much the tape recorder fell out of his uh-huh. shirt and then the Doobie Brothers stopped the show oh, man. and pointed so disappointed at Rerun oh, yeah. 
And then it turned into a learning moment about how. Do you think that was like a directive Absolutely. from the network? Like we've got. Listen, I was at the dinner last night with my friend at uh, Atlantic Records, and <laughs> we got a big bootleg prob. Is there any way you guys can <laughs> get a call and get the word out? The, 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 the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, we're probably like, yeah, this is a real problem. Yeah, we, this is a way Try for to sell us records, to man. <laughs> yeah, we're just giving it away. It was a big one for the industry. It really stopped all the mm-hmm. all the piraters. You did a PSA for the music industry at one point. I did for the piracy, the anti-piracy. Piracy, yeah. That was a tough time. And but that were, was mostly you had the comedy. Metallica we going yeah, after really. it, and he got beat up for that one. Oh, it was yeah. you and Lars, Lars. That were on the on the tip on that. Right? Yeah, you can't uh, you can't go complaining that people are stealing your money when you are worth literally a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it was tough. I, I was with you guys. Yeah. I felt like it was. Out of control, and uh, yeah. you know we, that would happen to us with awesome show. People just torrent it, and, not, yeah, and yeah. it was like, all right. I don't one know time, how you think we're gonna pay for any of this stuff? But. One time I did a rerun though, and I strapped a, a Walkman Pro <laughs> to my lower back. Whoa, really? Because I I loved Urge Overkill so oh, much, and I was God. going to see them in like '93 or something. It was a long. Was it earlier? It might have been. Anyway, it doesn't matter. In Chicago, and I went in. I had the trench coat on. It was uh, it was pretty obvious actually, but as I was in line going into the theater at the Metro, I was going to see them. Uh-huh. Uh, I saw they were patting people down, Uh-oh. and then I was watching. Oh shit! And they're patting them on the lower back, and I was like starting to sweat, flop sweat, <laughs> and I was like maybe they won't notice. And I went up, and the dude pat me, pat me, and it was like, what's that? And I just came clean. I was yeah. like, it's a Walkman Pro, and he was like, does it record? And then for some reason, I was such a bad pirate. I was like, I mean, it can. <laughs> but he was giving me a chance to that's say, not, no, it doesn't. That's it's not what I have. It. I have it so I can listen to stuff. Yeah. Pathologically <laughs> honest. If the band's oh not good, I'm gonna, I need something to yeah. listen to. So, uh, alas, I did I not caught, get that radical bootleg. I got caught in a situation where I should have lied and I didn't. We, Eric and I were uh, got invited to go to like an early screening of Borat, the original Borat. Oh, yeah. Wow. And... They, it was, I don't know w- 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 how we got on this list, but we were, it was, th- it was kind of more of like a focus group than like friends and Were there some knockoff right? Borats? In the, or the original Well, there's Borat. a sequel. Right. And so this was early enough about, that they apparently. still could have made some last minute changes though. That, that's what you were, they were, Maybe. They, they wanted to get some feedback from but you. They were coming down the, the line asking people what they did for a living. And I said, oh, I'm in TV. I make TV. And they're like, yeah, you can't get out of the line. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Wait, yeah. was it the focus group where he pranks you with a big penis flying around? Oh. I didn't go. I, I, oh, wow. I, oh, that I was didn't from, go. Uh, that was from the other movie. All, All right. right, back to the game. <laughs> What's the one? Was it? Uh, Bruno. That was Bruno. Bruno. Oh, this oh, yeah. dead racist filmmaker helped revive the KKK in the early D.W. Point. Griffith. Very good. Wow. Dang. I told you Cage was good. What if I do this? I'm Cage gonna, knows his D. This could be a, a different way because I do feel bad. I am a, I am an empathetic well, person. Well, I tried that I know, one time. I know, I know. I they have trouble. a lot of points. No, it's not yeah. on you. But what I'm saying is maybe we go back and forth instead of first. Oh and yeah, answer. and then if they don't. Oh get it, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good. That's yeah. a good idea. Uh, I'm an innovator. You've got a good All right. head for business. Question goes to England. How do you measure loudness? That's about. <laughs> Well, well yeah, we were looking no, for DBs. We were looking for DBs. Very good, but Sorry, it's still kind of work. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> D is the key word here. Small, That's a small bad. D. Man. We're not looking for D. <laughs> we're looking for DBs. So no point for you. All right, but this is a tough one for the D. Who was Hunter's sidekick on the hit TV show Hunter? I'm going to say D. Williams. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> No clue. England, you want to steal? That's a good one. Yes, what was yes. the question? Sorry. Oh, uh, who was Hunter's sidekick on the hit TV series Hunter? You didn't D. Hawthorne. Who? D. Hawthorne. No, it was Sergeant D.D. Uh, D. McCall. Uh, I used to love Hunter. I used to hate Hunter. I have to watch it to get to like the show after Hunter, whatever that was. What was it? Let's see. I wish I could remember. Oh, my God. Hunter's laptop. Night Rider. <laughs> Hunter's laptop. I don't know. Whoa. The laptop of death. <laughs> All right. Uh, it goes to. Who does it go to? Back, Back to, to England. England. Back to England just got the point, right? Oh, no, they missed. No. You're right. I'm sorry. This vocalist had a few minor hits in the 60s, including You're No Good and her legendary sister appeared on Office Hours, really hitting, hitting it off with Tim. This singer also shares a first name with a member of the Ramones. 
Uh, uh, Dion Warwick. Well, mm -hmm. mm, sorry. Uh, sister. Uh, sister. Hey, I have a sister. Dee Dee. It's her sister. Dee Warwick. Very good. Dee yeah. Dee. All right, stays over here now. This actor gave birth to Al Pacino's twins and had to do nude scenes in Chevy Chase's vacation movie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know her. Uh, you know you have a picture of what she looks like, though, right? Uh, but you can guess too. From vacation, yeah. I yeah, can't remember team. anything anymore. Come on, the lady from vacation, the mom in vacation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and she had Al Pacino's child. Yes, yes. She and she was Whoa. a singer too. And Whoa. her, I don't know if she Beverly. was a singer. Uh, Beverly yeah. D'Angelo. Oh, I gave it away. I, he, the England knew I it. Can't you should have that. gave it to you. Him. Said Beverly. Yes. I can't take that. Split the points. Split them. <laughs> Each get a point. Each this goes five England. to five. This band reinvented their rock sound into a big EDM hit with Empty Bottle. <laughs> oh, um, I stink. Uh, 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 Dekar. 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 DKR. DKR. Oh, yeah, there you they go. go. They got wow. there. DKR. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was talking about Jacker for a second. Well, it's D D Dekar became DKR. Love it. Hmm. All right. This. Wow. Uh, Tenacious D, this new age author is one of the wealthiest figures in alternative medicine. Uh. D. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Dr. Oz. <laughs> Dr. Oz. D. Over to England. Uh, uh, D. Wow. D. Pack. D. Pack. Uh, you got it! Oh, oh, nice. D. Pack yeah. Chopra. All right, one what more. This one's for all. I didn't know Deke Pack dabbled in medicine. I thought he was yeah, just yeah, a That talker. might have been bad. Uh, no, I was, I was, I was, I was, he's a medicine guy? He's, I think so. Medicine really? man. Alternative right. medicine. This yeah. guy played oh. Superman in a TV. Wait, who's, who's this going to? Is this going to oh, England? You guys What's cut my question. Uh, it would be one England question. Again, I believe they just How did I cut your question, Doug? How? Yeah, you did. You did. You missed it. I'll go back and get it. I don't know where it was. Number three. This goes to England. This D was the lead singer and guitarist for the legendary punk band, The Minutemen. Um, um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> D, D Boone. Oh, a steal! Oh, Are you guys Googling? Are you Googling? It does in this look side? like she's looking at something oh, on no, screen. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> All right, last question. This is... Uh, Stephanie Google. Totally. Oh man. <laughs> this is <laughs> last question, and then we're the game is over. Uh, this game's been going on for two hours. Wow. <laughs> Legendary <laughs> Dean D. Boone. Minute man. This guy yeah. played Super. Wait, right, who's this to? England or D? Shout out to Mike it Watt if you're D. watching. D. Boone forever. Mike Watt. Mike Watt. Responsible. Double for my nickel favorite. on the dime. Yes, my right. favorite song. If you ask me what's your, what's your favorite song, I hate that question. My favorite song. Yeah. Gotta be that Daily Show theme song. <laughs> Wait, didn't Bob Mould write that from yeah, Bob Mould? Uh, Who's could you? No, I thought it was yeah. my Bob Speaking Bob of Mould song. Dave Hill, I'm glad you brought that up. Is it Husker Do? Or is it Husker Duh? I think it's Husker Du. I think it's Husker Du. Yeah, it's yeah. German. Do, with the umlauts. Maybe they're using the umlauts oh, incorrectly. Right. Right. Yeah. This goes to the D. This know. guy oh. played Superman in a TV reboot in the mid 90s and is currently a regular guest on Bigot Steve. Crowder's streaming show. <laughs> I like how you get your little yeah, digs I, I in gotta, here. Gotta get <laughs> I got nothing. It's Dean something. Just go right. with something. Don't say Dean something. Say Dean and then guess. Oh. Not able. They might steal. Not Dean. able, but... Norris. Dean Norris. <laughs> well, that's a, that was an MTV that's a guy, guy, right? Wasn't it? No, he was the was actor. DJ. Dean oh, Kane. Oh, yes! Break. Dean Kane! Oh! Oh! With a little help from your friends. <laughs> All right, Matt, what's our total? Well, the good news is you got that one right. The bad news is Tenacious D lost. What? What? Whoa. It's eight to six. How did they lose? Whoa. Well, they, that's, we, that's what really when you change no, the rules in the actually, middle of the game. I, they didn't feel like they got one right. Yeah. <laughs> you change the rules in the middle of the All right. game. And you gave oh, them way to go. Wow. Not going to challenge them. Congratulations, you've won $500,000. Oh courtesy of Nick Knock. That money will be arriving. Well, how much how much is that in pounds, T? 
25 bucks. I okay. would also like to point out that their names are Tan D and Dan, which is pretty that cool is really for the cool. name that D. That is really cool. Um, Thanks, Tan D and Dan. You know, Jack, I was scouring all my boxes last night. Yeah? Scouring, and just disappointment after disappointment as I scoured. Because I can picture this, I, it's somewhere in my house, but there is a picture. There is a picture on a cloud. That's, a, that's from Les Mis, yikes. Um, it's a picture of you and me and Amy Poehler from now I'm you hosting SNL. Might have been your first time. Oh wow. yeah. I don't wow. know. I was still living in New York. But Eric That's and I had started <laughs> sending stuff. We were starting to work with Dan Hart. Or we, yeah. did, we did like the Batman thing. Hilarious. And some other videos. And we're doing stuff with Bob, but still not like doing any, you know, we're still, I was still living on the East Coast. We had not yeah. done the move, hadn't done anything. You're still nobodies. Still nobodies. Just so trash. This is we, before Tom goes to Hollywood animation we did with you. Yeah. Yeah. Tom goes to Hollywood. Oh, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Somehow, I my friend, actually our friend Chris, who does our Al Pacino impersonator, uh, worked or knew somebody that worked at SNL, and we were in this mode of going to the after parties. Yeah. Kind of getting in there. They were you were schmoozing. Fun. Yeah. Wow. I was like, I didn't really belong there. How do you get in? People, yeah, it we were a friend of somebody that worked for the show. Gotcha. And you were there, and you knew me right away. Yeah. You were like, I know you, I've seen your shit. Oh, dude, your shit was making me laugh hard early, early. And there's a picture of us, and it's like... <gasps> Very, it's, Can we I wish please? I had it. Yeah, where? see it? You don't I don't know. It? I couldn't find it. I thought you were going on. through your boxes. I went through the Oh, boxes, and you didn't find and it. And I have nothing to show for oh, it. Okay. Oh, oh, man. But you can't remember that. I, I mean, don't how, remember. Of course. And I don't have a boxes. I don't save anything. <laughs> it all goes straight out the, the <laughs> window. You don't have a copy of that picture either? Nothing gets, uh, no, nothing gets <laughs> saved in my household. You should Photoshop one. Well, that yeah. encounter, let me get emotional here. Mm. That encounter gave us so much fuel. and so Because even then, I mean, I don't. you were... I don't know what. Well, you were hosting SNL, so yeah, you were, it was you were a, killing it. It was a good time. Yeah, and I also remember even earlier than that because I had this sort of fake rock group, this um, Tim Heidecker masterpiece in college, and we were oh, trying yeah. to make a little bit of a go at it. But when I saw your HBO show, yeah. I just was like, I'm, "We can't. This is. They did it. They did it. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you guys Hello. had like a music-based comedy idea yeah. pitch, yeah. but it wasn't a duo. Was it was a whole band. No, it was. It was a band. Yeah. It was different. But I just felt like you guys got there, and just executed it perfectly. Oh man! So Would anyways. you have gotten there had we not been there? We could we could speculate it's like all day. Sliding doors. Know. We don't know. <laughs> if there, that would be an interesting alternative timeline movie yeah. that we I would have loved yeah. to. Well, see you know that what? Show. You're fired, bud. You're swapping places, but. Anyways, Thank and then you guys compliment. showed up and did the pilot episode of Tom Goes to the Mayor. Yeah. Mostly, well, you were become a fan. Yeah. But also Bob. Got to do what Bob says. Got to. Bob. You are great, fired. Dude, great. You got to do it. He's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, Jack. Kyle, come on. Well, in a lot of ways, he gave us our big break. You know, we, he, he got us on HBO. And yeah. He, he he uh he helped write that those all of those Tenacious D nuggets on that were on HBO. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, when he was like, uh, he didn't have to bend our arm, though. No, yeah. Yeah, I was already a huge fan from the Dan Harmon stuff. Yeah. We so. did that recording at Eric's little house that he got. And if you, you don't remember this, I'm sure, but it was the day that uh, there were, the Olympics were running this, uh, the, whatever you call it, the torch. Yeah. <laughs> they were running it through L.A. Uh, O.J.? Like, down, it was not O.J. <laughs> he, he carried the, it wasn't that <laughs> long ago. Torch. He Here did the, the torch. torch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was like, as we're trying to record you, there's the full helicopter following Tom Cruise, who was the who was running the thing down Sunset Boulevard, <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't get good audio. I think we actually had to have you come back. All I remember is that it was the easiest gig ever. We yeah. came in there and it was like one take, and then some some photos, and we yeah. were like, wait, should we take some more? photos and do some more faces yeah. and you were like no we got, we got yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> but I, d I actually I remember I think this is very boring but I think you had you had lost your voice oh, and had to reschedule that was before I learned the phone it in technique of yes rock. yeah we were talking in our pre-interview that I've been doing lately I've got a it turns out I have a pretty delicate instrument Kyle I'll tell you I have to be careful not to blow out my pipes because uh 
What I is can your quite easily blow a gasket? So what do you do now? You're going on tour. You yeah. got to get ready. What are you doing every well, day? We do on... vocal rest. No talk shows of any kind. No, that's not true. <laughs> I talk. Not Wait. A lot of podcasts. Come yeah. Me no, I, it's not about vocal rest. It's just about you know, uh, not going. Never going, never pushing it into the red with the screams. Yeah, I don't do, I, dude. You're a you're a major screamer. I am. A you're screamer. a primal screamer. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. You'll blow a gasket and then you go out and do a, a rock and roll show right after. Yeah, I can't do that. But you are so you're you've 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 uh, you've, you've learned how to control it. Yes, I don't think I've got there yet. I get in there. I find a yes, a gentle, soft way. But you to don't rock hard. Do you it's do a, like hot tea? Do you do that I kind do of stuff? I do the hot tea with yeah. the honeys. Some lemon. Um, I mean, me, so, lemon? No, it doesn't matter. You know, me. there's a, a couple <laughs> tricks of the trade. Do you know about the bilabial fricatives? I don't know about the bilabial. Oh. It's a very fancy word, but really it's just like a... Oh, I do that. I do that all the time. That's a major one. You want to vibrate. You want to get vibrations going deep in yes. the in the Blowing larynx, up. in the esophageal. Do you, know, do you know this little trick, little musician's trick? Blowing <laughs> on a. <laughs> wait, do it again. Smoking a joint before. Yeah, that's, you... a, that's good for the voice. Yeah. Do some curlies. That's good. What about this? The cocktail straw. Do you ever do? You take a cocktail Never straw, done that. little that... thin straw, and you just go. Ooh, I will try that. Yeah, it, well, what does that do though? I don't. It I saw just you do warms it. up. It, it it it's just like a light. You know, you're, it's just a muscle back uh, there. Here's so you one. gotta just like. You ever do this one? Force a yawn. <laughs> and it's all about going from falsetto <laughs> to full voice and back again without a crack. Oh, crack. If you can do it without a crack, that means you found. Crack. Once you connect those two, yeah. there's nothing you can't do. Right. And after the show, I, do, I can't, I do have to, I can't be talking too much. That's Why are yawns thing. contagious? Hmm? It seemed like the yawns are contagious. I was going to say, do, are yeah. we losing you here? Or are we doing well, no, I just started contagious. yawning and, yeah. Hey, Doc, I don't want to name oh, drop, but great. Neil Diamond once told me the key is sleep. Get, uh -huh. You, you I knew heard it that. before John C. It. told me that. Yeah, sleep. You got to Sleep, get sleep, on. sleep. Yeah. But I got no time to sleep. You can't, because after a show, you're buzzing. You're high from the energy of the crowd. What's your? So you've been on the road. You're in a bus. Love it. Bus mm -hmm. is the best. It's my favorite. Place. Hell yeah. You yeah. like the bus? Oh god, yeah. <sighs> Getting that Close. little nook. <laughs> yeah. Me and Cage will watch an episode of something. Yeah. Seinfeld. <laughs> Friends. Yeah. Deadwood. Yeah. I'm watching some Better Call Saul. The Wire. How about, how about Bob on that show? So I mean, good. God can you dang believe it. Him? How hard he worked. I know. Because you know how hard that is. Some of his m monologues. Dude, he was acting. literally in like the best condition of his life, and he still had a heart attack. That is commitment to your craft. That's scary. I can't. Burning, burning, can we find out burning, where he was working out too hard? Heart though. attack scenes versus pre. I was thinking about it while I was watching that last season. I was yeah. like, is that when it happened? Because that looks pretty stressful. Yeah. But thank God. Thank God. Well, how thank scary God, was that? It's actually the best place ago. to have a heart attack because they got a whole crew of people. Stuff. Um, Matt, it is almost 11. Do you guys know the plan? We're going to, do you know the big well, surprise? They, we have a big surprise. There's that. And I mean, what, can we can we beg a tune from them oh, now that, that we're all great. warmed I'd up? And oh, is that Robin for the uh, the paying customers? Is that well, no, this is a free. Be, and then, then free. we have a surprise. How much after. is that Patreon if I wanted to join? <laughs> Five curious. bucks a month. Five a month. Yeah. How many? How many you got? How many episodes? How many? <laughs> how many Patreons do you have? I'll tell you. Yeah, that's not polite six, to ask. Six thousand or so. Six thousand. Let me do the quick math. Do the math. That's three billion dollars. Three billion dollars. We're the highest uh, grossing podcast of all time. We just <laughs> we top to, Joe Rogan. We have to pay those yeah, British congrats. people their winnings, though. So that's it's true. That's so we haven't done any you. Patreon bonus footage yet. Not yet. We take no. a break then. We're gonna. But we have a special surprise for the break. Save it. You'll see. But if you're watching live, it's free for everybody. What are you gonna do? What is? What are you gonna do? We have not rehearsed, no. but um, I was thinking, Cage. You know what I was thinking? Do not take one guess. What I think we should do? Blues and A. No, you're saying just jam. Yeah, we shouldn't just jam. <laughs> Blues and A. Shouldn't we give them a song? <laughs> we, oh, oh Tim. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I mean, oh, we man, can that do that happening. if you want. No, I don't want that. But I, I think that would be a fun bonus for the Patreon. Yes. Oh, okay. But yeah. I think right. just because it's just you and me here, yeah. 
We hit them where it where they feel it in the heart. The pounding. <laughs> The ballad, yeah, Hollywood oh, Jack, that might be too powerful, and the Rage Cage. That I, might be I don't. We didn't so rehearse emotion, though, so yeah. there might be some bad chords. Well, this is what's so. fun about this show is it's really honest and open and and rough. It seems really loose, yeah. It's really loose. We're not even on the air yet. I would edit. I would edit. The show. <laughs> yeah, I would start, really would. Start, <laughs> start tightening this considering up. it. Yeah. Come well, on, that, Cage. What do you think? What do you? Please. I'll do whatever you want. I, I want to. Yeah. I want to yeah. do the ballad. This is exciting. Well, doing the ballad. This show is loose. I like that. What do you um, need? I'm just gonna get a guitar and start and start playing. Yeah, let me roadie you guys up. You don't play on that one. Though. I do, dude. What are you talking about during the solo? Have, yeah, but I don't have the recorder. So. Um. All right. Well, so you'll have to just like play guitar or sing. A, oh, I'll sing your yeah, solo. Okay. Good. 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 Right That's now. good. Then I'm not even gonna get my guitar out. Old man MacGyver, where's my you pizza? Need a hand? Folks, we're going to be hearing a brand new, not a brand new, a classic from one of the great rock duos of all time. Is that true? I should have asked if you had a request, but that that is really the one that I want to play. Not but. that familiar with the work. Yeah, you don't know our catalog. <laughs> no, but I, you know I was going to talk. I was talking to uh, producer Matt yeah. about how great uh, Apocalypto. Uh, 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 Oh, post-apocalypto. Post-apocalypto. Dude, you came to the premiere. That meant a lot. It was the funniest oh, fucking thing. It was the dumb, one of the dumbest things I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, and Well, it was in reaction to the end of the world and the end of democracy back when, uh, when Trump first got Oh, elected. look at this whole... You guys are going to be singing it to each other. Yeah, it's pretty much... I'm going to duck down so I'm not in your shot. I don't want to be in your shot. <laughs> What do you think, Cage? Is this good? Oh, can you uh, hit, uh, hit your guitar? Would it be weird if I stood up also? No, we can make that work. Should I just sit, sit here for no camera reasons? No, I can adjust. Oh, I think I can. It's just sometimes in a song, you wanna, I want when you've got to hit certain voice. notes, yeah. you got to stand up. It's hard to hit certain notes if Get you're up. sitting down. You know what I mean? Get on up. I got you framed. But oh, for all beautiful. of y'all uh, patroners out there that don't know who we are, we are a band called Tenacious D. Over there, that's Kyle Gass, a.k.a. The Rage Cage. I'm Jables, also known as Hollywood Jack. And this is The Ballad. Hollywood Jack and the Rage Cage. This is the ballad of Hollywood Jack and the Rage Cage. Nothing could stop him when Jables and Rage hit the stage. Then Hollywood Jack hit the big time and went to make movies. Rage Cage was left far behind in the dust of his dreams. And he grumbled and growled and watched Hollywood Jack on Jay Leno. He bellowed and said he'd be nothing without help from Cage. He burnt up the photos of Jables and Cage doing mushrooms. Fuck him, I don't need no Hollywood Jack anyway. So Hollywood Jack lived up high on a hill in a bubble. Rage Cage lived deep in the broil and valley below. Yes, the Rage Cage bubbled with rage. He looked at the ground and he looked on the stage. The lava was bubbling and broiling inside the old cage. And Hollywood Jack climbed the ladder of stardom before him. He watched as his indie credentials flew right out the door. He'd make millions and then he'd go out and he'd make even more millions. He'd screen cages, calls, and he'd party with Zsa Zsa Gabor. No one respected him, they just rejected him. No one would represent Cage. Left on the streets of his dreams, he would cry and he'd rage. For 
the stage In Hollywood, Jack got a message that Cage was in trouble. They took Cage away cause he had gone completely insane. So Hollywood Jack jumped upon a jet plane and flew all that night through the rain to be with his friend and see what remained of his brain. Yeah, Hollywood Jack told the doctors, you've got to retrieve him. You've got the technology, use the techniques of your trade. He grabbed their lapels and he screamed, my God, you must save him. Because the rage cage and I, can't you see, we're one and the same. Oh, rage cage, oh, the rage cage, all oh, the magic inside that old name. And you know what you know when you've gone completely insane. Once again, and you know, yes, you know, when you're going completely insane. Oh. Nothing and no one could harm the old rage cage again. Nothing and no one could harm the old rage cage again. Nothing and no one could harm the old rage cage again. Hollywood Jack and the rage cage would ride once again. Okay, great. Sure. Whatever. All right. That was incredible. Um, we'll be back for the second half of the show. You guys are going to stay here. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. You got, no you got way, you're canceling Jose. your afternoon. Another half? Another half with your Zooms. If you're listening on the replay, join Patreon now and get us over 7,000. Let's even get 1,000 thousand new subscribers today. Yes. That be something? Boom. Patreon.com slash Office Hours Live. One more time, check out Deck of Cards now on HighNetwork.tv. And if you're in L.A. or anywhere in the California region, come on down to the El Rey on Friday for our final show with a very good band. And uh, the great Tim Heidecker uh, will be performing <laughs> as well. Uh, final, let's just say for now, wink. Um, all right, we're going to take a break. Be back in five. Yeah. 
Your crimson moonlit shine Shake a hairy fist For these are stable and clumsy rhymes That we have heard a hundred times Put your heart above your head It's pointless to resist Sometimes he says